The following was recorded after having a case of the flu for about five days. Events occur in real time. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing season 7 of 24. So in season 7, just months after the events of the movie Redemption, Jack Bauer is on trial for alleged crimes he committed throughout the show. The CTU has been shut down and American policies against torture have now been strengthened. However, all of this needs to be put on hold when the country faces an imminent threat in the form of warlords Benjamin Juma and Aiki Dubaku. And in a controversial move on the show's part, Tony Almeida returns. So the general consensus out there with season 7 is that it was a significant improvement over season 6 and reinvigorated the show in some ways. Personally, I agree with this and I even consider it to be somewhat of a return to form for the show. Is it perfect? No. But is it another solid entry for the show? Yes. So let's get into it. So firstly, Season 7 brings a lot of new ideas to the table. The CTU is disbanded, Jack Bauer now works for the FBI, the show is now set in Washington DC as opposed to Los Angeles, and the show even became self-aware in some ways. For example, Jack Bauer being put on trial for his alleged crimes is very reminiscent of the show being put on trial for its controversies. You know, it feels like the producers acknowledged these things and tried to move on from them with this season. And its depiction of Muslims are more sympathetic and honestly more realistic. So as far as the characters go, there's a couple of new ones here, as well as returning characters from 24 Redemption, most of which play much more significant roles here. Firstly, there's Renee Walker, played by the late great Annie Washing, may she rest in peace. Renee Walker is an FBI agent who is best described as being tough and strong-willed and even goes as far as to disobey orders and push the limits of the law whenever she considers it necessary. So in many ways, she's pretty much the female FBI equivalent of Jack Bauer. Larry Moss is the special agent in charge at the FBI in Washington and is skeptical towards the idea of having Jack Bauer enlisted with the FBI given his track record at CTU. Kurtwood Smith, who we all know as Red Foreman from that 70s show, plays Senator Blaine Mayer, the senator who puts Jack on trial. Then you have all the returning characters from 24 Redemption. Alison Taylor is now the current president of the United States, making her America's first female president, something America has yet to approve of in real life. The interesting thing about President Taylor is that despite being a member of the Republican Party, she embodies a lot of democratic traits. Hence her decision to strengthen America's policies against torture. Jonas Hodges, played by John Voigt, also returns. And we also learn a bit more about the organization he works for, known as Starkwood. Juma and Dubaku return as major antagonists for this season. Their goal is pretty straightforward. The United States government has intervened in Sangalian affairs, and so they want to retaliate by committing a terrorist attack. And Dubaku in particular has a very interesting storyline of his own. But of course, the biggest selling point for Season 7 was in fact the return of Tony Almeida. Now in case you somehow haven't seen the show, I'm not really going to delve into any major spoilers regarding his character, so you can stick around. Now the way in which Tony was brought back and utilized is very controversial among fans. You know, some fans like it, some fans hate it. Personally, I think it was the best possible choice they could have made. And I really thought Carlos Bernard's performance was fantastic. But to sum things up, the Tony Almeida we've all known since season 1 is not here. You know, he's a changed man for reasons that are unfortunate but understandable. Gone is the CTU analyst that we're all familiar with, and instead we have something totally different. I really dug his new look, and his motives for his actions throughout the season made perfect sense. And I also really enjoyed his interactions with Jack. And you know, sometimes when Jack is asking certain questions, 
it almost feels as if he's speaking on the fans' behalf because he has some of the same questions for Tony that we do. One of the things that really stood out about season 7 was the sort of anti-government message conveyed here. You know, this season had started airing around the same time Barack Obama had first stepped into office. And as the years have gone by, more and more of the US government's dirty secrets have been exposed. That combined with the fact that the show was becoming less conservative and more liberal made season 7 more relevant than ever. And as for the finale, well it went in a direction that may be divisive among fans from what I recall, but I think most of us can agree that it was kind of well deserved and kind of emotional towards the end, and in some ways the show in general could have ended right there and then. Now I don't have a lot of issues with season 7, but the first one is the few recycled plot points we get here. You know, I get that the show needed to lean on some familiarity so that it still feels like you're watching the same show, but it's hard to ignore the fact that we've seen certain elements of this season done before. You know, big terrorist attacks, people walking behind the scenes, characters from Jack's past coming back to haunt him, in this case it's Tony, moles and so on. You know, it's not as derivative as season 6, but still, the recycled elements are noticeable. And despite my appreciation for the utilization of Tony, I feel as if there are some contrivances with the way he was brought back, especially when you take into account the gap between his last appearance prior to the season and his return. You know, there may be a few aspects of it that feel forced or far-fetched, but other than that, everything else is fine. So yeah, those are my thoughts on season 7 of 24. Next time we're going to look at what used to be the final season, season 8, until Live Another Day came along. So yeah, look forward to that very soon. Thank you all for watching guys, please be sure to like the video, share and subscribe, ring the bell, take care and I'll see you soon.